Integrated Pest Management or IPM video reviews the basic principle of trap cropping and describes the effectiveness of Hubbard squash as a trap crop for cucumber beetles. This information is relevant for organic and conventional producers who can increase economic and environmental sustainability with diverse IPM tactics. Watch other videos in this series to learn about the effectiveness of Hubbard varieties for squash bug and vine borer control. Squash attracts a number of insect pests such as cucumber beetles, squash bugs, and vine borers. Alabama Vegetable IPM Project has been evaluating trap cropping techniques for a variety of summer and winter vegetable crops. A trap crop is based on the principle of host preference and deters pest feeding from the main crop. With adequate planning and management, trap crops can significantly reduce damage to the main crop with reduced dependence on conventional or organic insecticides. Squash crop in Alabama is at high risk from early season insect pests such as cucumber beetles. Striped and spotted cucumber beetles also transmit bacterial wilt, which is devastating for squash producers. In Hubbard trap crop studies at several locations across Alabama, Baby Blue and New England Hubbard were evaluated with great success. In these studies, trap crops were planted in two outside rows to understand their effectiveness at a small farm. Hubbard trap crops must be planted two weeks ahead of the main crop, which in our case was destiny yellow squash. Cucumber beetles were always the first insect pest observed in these studies. Careful observations suggest that New England Hubbard was nearly 16 times more attractive to the spotted cucumber beetles compared to baby blue Hubbard. Vigorous plant stand of Hubbard squash is necessary to have this effect. We also observed a large number of striped cucumber beetles in both baby blue and New England Hubbard varieties compared to the yellow squash. Overall, we have observed that cucumber beetle become active early in the spring and pest pressures can vary greatly between years. Timely use of a synthetic pyrethroid insecticide once a month on the trap crop can destroy 80 to 90 percent of the beetle populations without the need for spraying the yellow squash. In a small scale trap crop study in 2015, we found many beetles were attracted not only to the Hubbard squash leaves in the early season, but also to the Hubbard flowers in the late season. Leaf feeding usually is seen in the form of shattered leaves with round holes as shown in our earlier slide. Despite heavy cucumber beetle feeding, Hubbard keeps growing vigorously throughout the season and each plant can produce several marketable fruits, which is an added bonus for, for farmers. It is a good idea to purchase fresh, disease-free seeds to get a good plant stand. In 2015 study at Coleman, Alabama, about half acre of yellow squash was produced without the use of conventional insecticides. The main crop still needed fungicide applications due to hot and humid weather conditions. Various popular seed companies sell Baby Blue and New England Hubbard seeds with or without seed treatments. We bought organic and or untreated Hubbard seeds from Johnny and High Mowing Organic. Every farm is different and producers should strive for developing a site-specific IPM strategy. This trap crop tactic can be adjusted to farm size and resource availability on the farm. While majority of trap crop systems are designed for small to medium sized farms, this tactic can be scaled up for large acres. Just consult with extension personnel to develop a customized IPM plan. Remember that Hubbard trap crop should be planted ahead of the main crop and provided proper care for maximum effectiveness. Don't forget to scout for target insect pests and undertake timely pest management efforts like mechanical or chemical control. Remember to subscribe to the Alabama IPM Communicator newsletter via the website www.aces.edu backslash IPM Communicator to stay informed of specialty crop production practices and educational events. Subscribe to the Alabama Vegetable IPM on Facebook for photo collection and pest alerts. The Alabama Vegetable IPM website, more videos and training modules suitable for producers, educators, crop consultants, and gardeners.